The thick fog isn't the only thing causing problems for drivers, but it also seems to be the reason for an increase in vandalism. Action News anchor Graciela Moreno is in the newsroom tonight with how fog is helping vandals deface public property. Graciela? That's right, Nancy. Fresno police say graffiti vandals are out in force during the winter months, and it's the fog that's making it easier for them to do their dirty work. It's also making it harder for police to catch them. Everywhere taggers leave their mark, the Fresno graffiti abatement team is hot on their trail. Scrubbing and wiping down street signs, sidewalks, and even light posts. I remove generally between 50 and 60 tags a day. Fresno Police Lieutenant Jose Garza says the department sees a 30 percent increase in this sort of vandalism during the winter. So it could be for the shorter daylight hours. Uh, it could be the less people walking. And also it's easy for the individuals to hide, especially in the dense fog. The nine-member abatement team tries to respond within 24 hours to remove the graffiti. You don't have to look far to find it. But sometimes just within hours, vandals are back and any clean space is their target. You know, it used to be just the southeast, just, you know, the southwest, but now it's central, northeast, northwest, it's everywhere. Just like this last week period, they removed approximately about 64,000 square feet of graffiti in Fresno. I mean, they're doing this seven days a week, so it's just quite a bit. Lieutenant Garza says the fog and fewer daylight hours are also making these criminals harder to catch. There's more graffiti. Also, there's less arrests being made because it's harder to apprehend individuals in the, you know, in the fog or in the winter hours. So. Lieutenant Garza says the crime is being committed mostly by juveniles. It's generally a misdemeanor, but it can turn into a felony depending on the level of destruction the vandals cause. In the newsroom, Graciela Moreno, ABC 30 Action News.